Hey there, so yesterday we got a lot of chores done and we got the chicken coop all cleaned out. We got some uh, compost piles piled up and uh, kind of ran out of time yesterday. We were gonna, I was gonna finish the chores today, getting the garden beds all filled up and and uh, use that some of that compost we had that's already ready to go. Um, but it's a rainy day, so we're gonna start a different project uh, as typical uh, farm life goes. Uh, you start many projects, finish very few. Um, but I'm kind of excited about this next one. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. But I'm going to take this old trailer that I really didn't know what to do with. Needing uh, desperately just to go to the dump. <laughs> uh, it's got a flat tire and everything else. But I thought, you know, I'm tired of picking up that hay off the ground. And, and uh, a lot of that hay just goes to waste. You can see that by the pile that we made that, that a lot of that hay never gets used, never gets eaten. Once they trample on it and crap on it, they're not eating it. Um, so I thought, well, we'll turn this, see if we can turn this into a hay feeder, um, and one that can be moved and kind of, uh, transported to different parts of the, the pasture. Um, if it turns out, if you never see it, that means it never turned out and it's in the dump, but, um, hopefully you'll see it and see that this hay feeder turned out to be, uh, some cool thing that, uh, that, uh, you know, we got to use some scrap piece of junk in the yard and turn it into something useful for the farm. So... Um, we're going to take this old trailer, so you can see this here, but it's pretty rickety, wood's all all rotten, and uh, it's falling apart. We're going to take this apart, uh, take see if we can get the frame to work, and uh, build a, some sort of a hay feeder on it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm even going to do, but we'll show you the steps and see if it turns out. So, here we go. Okay, so got the wheel off, we got this frame. There's not a whole lot to this frame. I think it's missing a bar here in the middle, but these bars were just added to support the base. Um, but there's a, supposed to be a bar in the middle, but I don't think that's gonna matter because uh, I'm not really gonna use those. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I think I'm going to build it out, some sort of a base all the way up there towards the tongue and uh, let it hang off the back end. And what I want to be able to do is to allow the hay to be thrown in from two different sides and maybe have a few spots for grain um, and uh, so that they can, you know, maybe four different animals can take a corner or something. I'm not quite sure yet, but <laughs> I'm going to work with what I got and put a base on this and then go from there and we'll, we'll see what happens.
So I'll put it one wall in. Um, I just, uh, I don't know the right width, honestly. Um, I think they can get their head in there. I think that's okay. But you don't want to be able to let the, get them too far in there. Um, you know, you got to be able to pull the hay out without pulling the whole bale out. So I think that's the idea. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't really want to spend too much time researching it. We'll try that if it's not big enough or if it's too big. We can always uh, move them around a little bit. But So we're going to do the other side. And then we'll uh, figure out how to block the ends off. All right. So you can see uh, we got both walls up. And we've got a cross beam here. You can see it here. And uh, that's where we're going to attach the plywood and have it slope down to about, um, you know, just to where there's enough to maybe about a foot inside of the outside of this so that hay slides down to there and then they can stick their heads in here and eat it off the bottom. And on the outside of this, we'll make some sort of a trough to catch the debris and put grain. So we'll put these cross pieces in here. Some angles cut here probably not super critical but so imagine the hay being loaded in from the top and then slides down put some plywood there and then we'll bring it down to the middle here about where their head height is they can pull it out of there. Again, we'll put a feeder down here so that uh, it doesn't fall through on the ground. And um, so we got to get a few more boards here to put some more cross pieces in. And we should be getting close to being able to put plywood down for this. We'll probably do that tomorrow since it's dark. But yeah. All right, so put the plywood down the bottom there. What I did is about, oh, it's about 10 and a half inches or so wide. I just cut little slots so that it would fit in between the posts. Just marked them and uh, just brought it to the end so they have room to screw something else here on here and make a little trough, but wanted to make sure I brought it to the end there. And then on that side too. And then we'll put more braces. Try to get some more wood. More braces there. More braces on this side. And then we'll... Uh, Put the plywood down, put a plywood on the end, then we'll have our feeding trough, and then we'll work on these things here. So uh, all in all, probably um, 100 bucks in wood, plus I used a bunch of scrap wood there. So um, all in all, maybe it's gonna end up being probably a little over 100 bucks in wood. I bought some screws I think I'm gonna take back, so that that puts it right around a hundred dollars in material, but plus I had, you know, probably another thirty or so dollars in scrap wood that I would have had to buy if I didn't have it. So definitely could make one of these if you have the trailer frame for under a couple hundred bucks. Probably do it under 150 bucks. One in one year, you probably save the amount of hay that costs you to build this. But pretty sturdy, uh, pretty centered. The, the bulk of the weight is centered over the over the axle. I still got to get that wheel fixed. I had two tires, both are flat. They don't hold air. Um, so I'll have to get that patched. So there you go. Okay, <clears throat> here we are uh, a few nights later. And let me show you what we got done here. I forgot to video all the steps, but put some plywood on those walls there. You saw the the uprights there the, they can stick their head in between here and get some hay we uh so anyway we got that i'm gonna put some plywood on the end here block this off and uh, got plywood on that side so we can drop hay up above and 
fall it, let it fall down. We got our tire fixed. Turns out that uh, just needed air <laughs> and seems to be holding. So we got the tire there. So we got to screw down the, we're gonna screw that fender into the side of that so it doesn't move around. We'll put a piece of plywood on top of there so hay doesn't fall down in the crack and onto the ground. Okay, we'll screw this down and uh, screw that down. Screw these sides down. Put a rail around the bottom here for a grain that they can eat out of. Rail around this side for grain off the back end. Yeah, kind of build as we go and uh, just do what makes sense, you know. Okay, so we put the little tray above the tire. You can see that it extends past the tire. They can pull the hay out and uh, feed it into the top there. Got everything screwed down there. This one there, this one there. Got this back end, front end, and then we'll do the other side, and then we'll put her test her out. Okay, so success. <laughs> so they, I gotta put some blocks under this to level it out, which I don't have right now. But uh, it looks like the horse is excited. He wants uh, some of that grain. Donkey gets a little bit. Um, so if I block this up and get it level so they can't push it around or don't get hurt on it, um, I think it'll work pretty good. Hey, so really happy the way it turned out. Turned that old trailer into a hay feeder. Hope that was helpful. Um, kind of cool to use something old on the farm and turn it into something that works. 
And uh, so, appreciate you watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, have a great day. All the animals enjoying the new hay feeder. Worked out really well. Put some blocks under it. Keep it level. Keep it from falling over. 